We're not even against the project itself, we're just against the process. Today, those opposed to the City of Nanaimo's use of an alternative approval process to borrow $90 million to build two new public works buildings were collecting signatures here at Bebbin Park and across town at the Superette. We only got a week left, so it's a bit pedal to the metal at this point to see if we can get the numbers. This is Nanaimo's third public works AAP. The two previous failed on real or perceived technicalities. The city has reduced the project's scope for this third try, but those opposed to the borrowing argue a referendum would be more democratic. They also have multiple concerns about how the city is conducting the process. The city's removed signage, criticizing the AAP process and advocating for a no vote. Lawyer Sandy Bartlett has studied the AAP rules and says the city has not remained neutral in providing information. Do you think there's grounds for another challenge that might uh, make this process null and void like the last two times? Uh, yes, I think there are grounds. But Nanaimo's mayor remains a steadfast backer. I would hope that the citizens will take full advantage of doing the tours that have been available, going on the city website, reading the material, and understanding why council came to this conclusion. I have repeated this over and over again. This is not a nice to have. This is a need to have. And Leonard Krogh says the city has been removing just some of the AAP signs. If the AAP signs comply with the city bylaw, they won't be touched by bylaws. Is the city contravening any of the regulations? The tiresome allegations made by some people in our community about the city not complying with the law are just that. They are tiresome allegations. They're not accurate. They're not fair. Nearly 8,000 people, or 10% of Nanaimo taxpayers, need to submit a form by the deadline to defeat the borrowing. The deadline is October 31st at 4.30 p.m.